as we transition into our new College of Career Readiness Standards, one of the things that became very evident to us um, at the State Department is that our classroom teachers needed a lot of support, especially professional development and training on how to basically teach our new standards. There's a higher level of rigor there, there's a um, greater depth of knowledge, and then we also need to be able to help our teachers understand how do you transfer these standards and make them a little bit more applicable to the real world, but also to make sure that we reach and meet the needs of all of our students. So what they're learning on today is how do you basically take these manipulatives, take them into the classroom, and ensure that our students have that depth of knowledge and conceptual understanding that our new state standards require. Today, um, we have some of our target schools that have been targeted by the Office of School Improvement, um, either for low performance on test scores or um, longitudinal data that kind of supports the need for them to provide greater interventions for their students, especially in the content area of math. The boxes in this warehouse contain materials that have been purchased by the Office of School Improvement to support instruction in math through the use of math manipulatives by our schools that are identified as at risk. Those schools were identified for the 15-16 school year. The material supplement instructional resources that teachers may already have and it also provides them with assistance to create more rigorous and challenging lessons in their classrooms. I don't accept anything but the best for my students. I don't let them make any excuses for anything and the thing I like about the, the Mississippi College and Career Readiness Standards is it gets the kids to thinking on a higher level. You're not just doing basic computation, you're having to really think outside the box about what you're going to do and how you're going to do it to solve the problem. And that's, a real, that's in real life. You know, you're not going to have the answer given to you in multiple choice. You're going to actually have to think of a plan, ex execute the plan, and make sure the plan works to solve it. So that's what I think that does, and it prepares them for college and career and for life. Where do we use these in the real world, and how does this apply to fractions? Okay, what else? Where do we use this in the real world? Where do we use this in the real world? Baking. Anything else? Before arriving at Clausel, we were rated an F school. So it was evident that my teachers needed training on how to provide um, activities or instruction with manipulatives. And what I do is I always search out um, any opportunity, any professional development that MDE is having across the, in, in Jackson, Mississippi. And I decided to send all of my teachers to that training. Uh, most of my teachers, we have manipulatives in the building. However, they're not as elaborate as the ones that we've received from MDE. And more importantly, we not only received a lot of manipulatives, we received training on how to effectively utilize the manipulatives, which is highly important for my teachers. This year, in one year, we are so proud, um, even for the community, for our students, that we're now a, rated a C. Um, it's evident that our students can learn with, when equipped with the right tools. This is my first year teaching. I teach at B.F. Liddell Elementary in Macon, Mississippi. The district is Knoxville County. Uh, the county is a critical area which needing more teachers so through uh, scholarship is um, how I got engaged and concerned about Knoxville County and the district though is considered critical and maybe uh, lower uh, in performance right now but the students are very intelligent and it's concern is getting them engaged and putting forth their best effort and that's what I stress to my students every day what do you think your effort will bring you in the end? Your success depends on you. Professional development brings you more real life experience and connected to where you are now. It's hard to think about actually being in the classroom when you're in school because you're focused on, I need to graduate, you know, and now that you're actually in the field, you fo you're focused on, okay, how can I do my job better? How can I help my kids? You have to love what you do. Coming through school, I had a lot of people being surprised about, oh, you're going to be a teacher, it's not much money. And my thought was, I'm not worried about the money. My goal is to make a difference, change the world one child at a time. 